Hi Capricorn, this is Jesse with 44 Astro and this is a general tarot reading for the month of July for the sign of Capricorn. This is the inaugural launch of my channel. I'm doing it on 777, July 7th, 2023 and 2023 is a seven year. And I'm doing a destiny reading because 777 is a destiny number and I hope that the destiny of this channel is bright. I'm using the Rider Waite Tarot deck as the deck for my main spread. I'm using the layout as a Thoth layout. Um, it's designed by Crowley, the Thoth deck, and I'm using the Thoth deck for the clarifiers. And I'll explain the positions and what they all mean once I get them laid out. I'm going to go ahead and let the powers that be tell me when to stop. For Capricorn, July starting on 777. Destiny reading 2023. Oh, there we go. Ooh, batting down the hatches. I didn't want to go anymore. Saying you're ready for battle. Let's see what the cards have to do. Ooh, wow, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, battle is the battle is the word. There's something going on here. Or the question has to do with something like that. But I'll explain what each section means once I get it all laid out. All right. My Capricorns, my calm, 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 rational Capricorns. I love Capricorns. I'm a Scorpio. I really appreciate Capricorns. Just how calm they are and how rational. So that's a bad down the Hatchens energy. That's like being ready for battle. So I don't know. This would be the general energy or the question itself. You got the tower. So that's a question about some kind of big change or big event. You got the five of swords, which is competition or battle in some way. Kind of more, it could be like arguments, verbal not verbal, intellectual, but it's going to come out verbal probably. And of course, the Ten of Rods, which is a lot of work. Capricorns are a very hard work in sign. They care about their prestige and their stance in the world. And they work very hard to get it. Um, so this looks like something to do with work. Competition. The question is around competition and work. And like some kind of sudden change in that. Like maybe you're, the question is, you know, am I going to be recognized? Will it be the change in work that I want? In this competition, will I win? Will I accomplish all this work? And my guess is with Capricorn, will I even be recognized for it? Um, so that that's the general energy of the current situation, some kind of sudden change or drastic change around competition and work. And so the question definitely has something to do with competition and work. And you're definitely trying to zap them people off your tower. So there could definitely be competition could just be that you want to be recognized and it could be that could be what the question's about because it doesn't really i don't see a lot of cups here so it doesn't necessarily look like relationships and i'll call it out to what it kind of seems like um if i i, I won't call it a relationship reading, i'm just calling it a destiny reading if there's a lot of cups here i would say it was you know relationship oriented but we're looking like pinnacles and work there's a ten of cups down here but we'll get to that this is the current path that you're on eight of pinnacles which is work again Four of Pentacles, which is holding on to your money. And that's stable energy. You got two fours here, four four, which I see four four a ton. Um, and then the four of rods, which is kind of your stable, happy home card, or even a celebration, or a marriage even. But this is definitely to do with work. Stable. You're trying to be stable. Like your objective is like that's your question. It's like will my work give me the stability and the home that I want and the recognition that I want? Like that's what it feels like that the question is here. I mean, this is a generalized reading, but this is what the energies are saying. When, when you do the Thoth spread, you have the, the cards will tell you the question, right? That's why I like this spread. You have a current path that you're on. And this suggests that you, you're working heads down. You're working. You're watching your finances. You're taking care of business. You're making sure every dotting your T's, crossing, or <laughs> dotting your T's, dotting your I's and crossing your T's. And taking care of business, making sure your money's good so that you can take care of your home and you can have what you want. And I, I, I believe that wholeheartedly. Capricorns are extremely rational, hardworking people, especially if you have it heavy in your chart. So yeah, that seems to be your current path. We're going to do some clarifiers on it. And if that is your current path, it looks like you're going to get exactly what you want. If this is what you want, if you want a happy, stable home, you're going to get it. As long as you keep working, watching your money, you're good. This is another path. This is a path you can choose to take. And it's got the Wheel of Fortune in it. 
So this could be more of a destiny path. The other path may be the one that you want to be on naturally. This is a this could be a destiny path. And you have the King of Wands, the Three of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. The Knight of Wands is a more frivolous energy. You're the closest sign to you on one side, both sides of you really, are a little bit more frivolous signs, like Aquarius and Sagittarius, the Eos signs. They're both very like fun, having a good time, social. Capricorn's more like, not that you're not social, of course you can be. You're more like get it done and have a reason to do it. And like very, very rational. Don't let your emotions get in the way too much. You can be social, but there's an end goal most of the time, which is nothing wrong with that. As a Scorpio, I rec I know I know all about that and I'm all for that. Um, as long as you're not hurting people. But yeah, it's this looks like a more frivolous energy over here. Like the other path looks like maybe you have fire in your chart possibly with that earth energy um or you know a fire sign or you just need to be it's moving toward waiting though right it's moving toward waiting for your ships to come in right it's moving toward like i have these wands here and i'm waiting and and the ground that he has the wands in is is growing things it's green and in front of him is all desolate but behind him everything that has been done is fruitful and starting to grow and the wheels are turning in this. Like there's some kind of destiny here. We're going to get clarifying cards on this for sure on this path. And it seems like a destiny path. The path to your own is hard work. And I don't see how much it would differ from this. It's more like instead of just doing what you have to do, do what you want to do. Do what your passion is, right? Because this just looks like you're just working. Whatever you got to do, you're going to do it. And it's going to give you a happy home. And there's nothing wrong with that. But there's something with destiny over here. We're gonna we're gonna look at that here in a little bit. This is the advice. Hey, guess what? It's more work. Destiny, work. Three of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. So it's your advice again. It's advice about work, but it's not being able to see something. It's like there's something being offered to you, but instead, you only want to be recognized. Like for your work. See how he's showing them his work and they're like, oh, wow. Like, but you're not seeing. You want others to see, but you won't see. But yet you're like, I can see all of these things that I've done or all these seeds that I've sown, all these things that I've done that I want to show everyone. But there's something that I can't see. That I'm not looking, I'm only concerned about what uh, the others see, the others seeing what I've done, that I'm not seeing what I've done. Interesting, we're going to have to clarify on that too. And that's advice. Yeah, there's a lot of, there's. I mean, this is all about looking. He's like, he's showing him, he's like, hey, look at these. Look at what I did, this is beautiful. Those people are like, ah. Oh. This person's like, I'm just not going to look. I can't see what's in front of me. And this dude's like, look at my stuff. It's all looking. It's all seeing. There's something, there's something about seeing here. Something that you have to look at. Something that, you, something that you need to show, but maybe you don't even know what it is that you need to show. It's something out of all the seeds that you've sown and all the things that you've done. It's maybe something that you're not even recognizing, that, you, that you're either capable of or that you've done, that you're good at, that you could be showing people but don't even realize it. And only you'll know what that is, Capricorn. Only you will know. And we'll clarify that as well. But the outcome looked good. Boom. Now comes Ten of Cups, King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. So, like, I mean, Ten of Cups is like, boom. It's very similar to this card. You know what I mean? And that's the current path that you're on. And also, you got these two fellas. It's very heavy earth energy, and you are a Capricorn. And look at, look at the King of Pentacles. He has it all. All of it. He's got a castle in the background, flowing robe. He's got a crown on his head, huge throne, huge pinnacle. He's got his wand. And he's got so much that, look, he can even be the knight of pinnacles and he can even offer some to someone else. So generosity within your accomplishments. Like, either way, I think you just need to see whatever this is. Out of all of your seeds that you planted, all the things that you're capable of or have done, there's something that maybe you're not focusing on completely. 
But either way, I mean, you're working your butt off. This is all about work. I mean, there are so many work cards here. It is insane. Work and accomplishment. It's just, it's, and especially about money. I mean, you're Capricorn, of course. I mean, you're Earth. So having all these pentacles makes a ton of sense. All right. What do we want to clarify first? I think we're going to... I really want to clarify this Four of Cups first. What is it that he's not seeing? What is it that, that the Capricorns are not seeing? Come on, make it clear. Let me know. Tell me when to stop. So in this deck, Five of Rods is Strife, the Lord of Strife. You got the Five of Pentacles, but it's in reverse. So instead of worry about money, it's, you probably got plenty or you're not really worried about it. Seems like you're pretty uh, smart about it. So that's in reverse. So I think you're good. And in this deck, the Seven of Pentacles, which is right over here beside this, this Four of Cups. And in this deck, it's actually failure instead of being like, look at the seeds that I've planted. It's basically, in my opinion, putting too many eggs in too many baskets. And maybe that's what it is. You're casting too wide of a net and not narrowing it down to what you really are good at. And that's what that's screaming to me. Because, you know, that's going to lead you to, to strife. And even though this is worry, you're not worried about money. I don't think you're worried about it. I think, uh, I think you're worried about it as much as you need to be. I don't think you're, like, super worried about it. Because it's in reverse. Hmm. Yeah, it's starting to make a little bit of sense. There's something specific you need to focus on. You may have too many, um, too many eggs, too many baskets. That's one you specifically have to focus on. Okay, let's stop. So let's check out the current path you're on. What is it that you're working on? Ooh, you're getting a lot of fives. Tower again, but victory. Fascinating. Disappointment. Sudden change, but victory. It's basically like... And it's right here on, you know, well, it's on the Four of Pentacles. So you're working hard. You're holding tight to your finances. Because you're afraid of disappointment. Are you, I think you're afraid of sudden change. You're afraid of change in your finances. Or afraid of any kind of sudden change. Which would make sense in the current climate that we're in, like in the U.S. and our economy. And even around the world, the economies are going crazy. So that would make some sense. But it looks like, I don't think you have to worry, man. I think you're going to be fine. Or I say man, but I say that regularly. But female, male, lady, ma'am, man. I don't want to say girl, man, you, Capricorn, um, yeah, I think you're. I think you maybe you actually may be worried about money. I guess worry was in reverse, but maybe it shouldn't be. Let's turn it up because I think you may be worried about money. You're working your butt off because you're worried about money, but you're gonna be fine. You're gonna have more than enough. Don't worry so much about money. You will have more than enough. The outcome is you will have more than enough. You're gonna have it all and then some. Yeah, I think you're just worried about money too much. It might not just be just money. It may just be like you're also worried about your status and thing in the world, like where you stand. Because if you want status in the world, it kind of revolves around money, sadly. So that would make a lot of sense if you want any kind of like influence in the world. It's all about money. But yeah, you're going to have to work hard for it because there's a lot of work here. No doubt about it. Ten of, ten of wands, eight of pentacles, three of pentacles. Like every work card you can have is here. I'm just going to look at this other path and see what this Wheel of Fortune is real quick. And then I will close out the reading. Oh, stop. Okay. Oh, and on the bottom is the other wheel. In this deck, the four of rods is also a wheel. Oh, power. Queen of swords. Oh, this is very intellectual energy. And even though Capricorn is an earth sign, I associate it with swords a bit. Just because there's a lot of logic in a Capricorn, in my opinion. Um... Yeah, this is what is the clarification on the, the wheel. So on the 
the turn of the wheel is suggesting. And in this deck, the four of pinnacles, instead of being the guy, the miser card, holding all of it, it's power. It's having influence in the material world and power. So that's, that's what the destiny is on this other side. And I think that's what you want. But it involves this. The Queen of Swords and the Knight of Swords. It's, it's thinking things through and moving forward in your thoughts and beliefs, but separating the wheat from the chaff. Not suffering any bullcrap, but to be fair, Capricorns are great at that. They're really good at rationalizing things. She's got that sword over the head in her hand. She's cutting the wheat from the chaff. You catch my drift. She's not suffering fools at all. So yeah, don't suffer fools. Stick to your passions. I say I would say go this path. Don't don't. I mean, you're either way. You're going to come out with what you want. But in this other path, you actually get your power, your influence in the world. But it involves a lot of intellectual labor around your passion. And you, only you can know what that is. I can't tell you what your passion is. Only you can know that. But it looks extremely intellectual with this. This path is going to work out either way. Like It's going to work out either way. Even with the tower and the disappointment there on the four of pinnacles. Like It doesn't even matter. You'll, you'll work hard and you'll get exactly what you want because Capricorns don't give up. They're going to get what they want. They work hard. One way or the other, they'll get it. But maybe instead of just doing what you have to, maybe you should do what you want to. And maybe it'll be more successful than you think. Even if you've got to work your butt off, it'll be more successful than you think. But either way, you're coming out on top. Even if you choose that life of just working really hard to create a great life for your family, you're definitely going to do it. But if, you, if you're looking for this, this earthly power, this power in the world, and it's, it's right here on the Wheel of Fortune where I, where I clarified it. This other path over here. you got to follow your passion. Whatever that may be. And it's going to be different for every one of you. But it feels like very intellectual. And it's going to bring you your, your power. Maybe it's taking the lead in something. Instead of just being someone that's just working their butt off, maybe you gotta maybe you gotta take a lead in something. Maybe you gotta be the king of or the knight of wands, or the king king of wands. Maybe you gotta be the king of wands. Go get what you want. Look at the lions in the background behind him. Go be a Leo. I hate to say that like that, but Leos are you know known for leadership, and the sun is very powerful. Maybe you have Leo in your chart. Embrace that. Walk forward like the sun. Make make everything revolve around you. And you have the mental power and fortitude to do it. And don't suffer any fools in the process. And you'll accomplish it. And I have extremely f a lot of faith that you will do that. Okay, if you like this reading, give it a thumbs up. Uh, please comment and subscribe if you can. I hope to uh, actually get some subscribers. This is my initial run of videos on this channel. Um, I'm grateful for you to be here, Capricorn, and I hope that you come back. Thank you.